Franken is a very normal RPG that's a little bit older than me, coming out at the start of May 2022 for free and immediately being discovered by he who shall not be named. A week later, Donkey released a video which I started watching, got a minute in, and then stopped because I knew I wanted to play it myself. This video is my reaction to everything exploring all the game has to offer. Scorpion slime, sexist shoes. From start to finish, the game was a pure delight. So if you want to play it yourself, there's a link to the download in the description. It's only an hour long, so you don't have much excuse not to, but if you need any further convincing, let this video be your proof. Hurry up, Hamas! This is the tale of Franken. The province of Fentonson Ark is in turmoil. Monsters lay in wait throughout the land, waiting for innocent passerbys to randomly encounter them. What's more, the arrival of the dreaded Hell's Knight, foretold by the scrolls of the great wizard Troab, signals the beginning of the Lunar Prophecy, in which the entire world could be plunged into eternal night. It might just cause the latest crossword puzzles to become more difficult, but I'd rather not take that risk. Neither outcome is good, because I think the current ones in the newspaper are challenging, but ultimately fair, and I really don't want to get frustrated by them. Anyway, King Kleab has sent out various warriors to scout out for evil beasts, creatures, ghouls, anything kind of like that, in the hopes that this great calamity can be averted, or at the very least mitigated temporarily so that it can become someone else's problem in the future. I respect the hustle. I really do. Is that our guy? Name the hero. All right. Lexi! A great quest of horror and heartbreak awaits you. You must be prepared. Good luck out there. Okay, bye. The hero Lexi travels to the forest where our story begins. Today, I have journeyed to this forest in order to seek out and vanquish evil beings. Seems there's little here but slimes. I shall set off and return to town. We really did just venture into like, just a dead end in the forest. That's fine. Hello, mouse friend. Hi, Lexi. Just so you know, your health is fully restored after a battle. That's good to know. So don't worry if you only have a bit of health remaining at the end of a fight. Go get him! Jelly draws near. Okay, so we can attack. Jelly can attack. And then we can attack again. Jelly has been vanquished! I did it. Level correlates to health, that's fine. Level three now, what well, hey! I think we're ready to take on Red Slime. Red Jelly draws near! You think you can best me? But I have a swinging sword! Destruction. Certified destruction. Hello there, my friend. Who are you? <laughs> you whimpering weakleton. You've not a chance in heaven or hell of thwarting me. You having fun smushing those slimes to smidge? You shit language, Timothy! How'd you like me to show you what a real battle is like? <laughs> okay, how much you got, Hell Knight? Fuck! I think we're gonna be cutting it close. Oh, I just didn't damage him and he's damaging me for two. Uh, hmm. 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 What a fine pickle I appear to find myself in. Lexi has fallen in battle. Darn. It wouldn't be worth my time to land the killing blow on a puny little thing like you. It'd be like stomping on a whoopee cushion. Pretty funny, but at my expense. If you intend on interfering with my plans, I'll not hesitate to kill you. I'll make this world a devil's playground, and pathetic cowards like you will be the swing set. Goodbye. Well, that was unfortunate. Hello, good sir. I'm fishing in the river. I'll return to town soon. I assume it would want us to go to the town for- I mean, there's a town here. Nothing ever goes wrong here. Nothing. Being an authority figure is amazing. I can bully people in a peaceful way. Hmm. I see. Beds are ten gold pieces a night. I didn't bring my coin pouch with me. I'm ready to sleep. Why do you look like... He looks like a Muppet, right? I don't remember the names of any of them, but he looks like one of them. This is my secret kids corner. I have some big plans for this space. I will come back to you later then. Is that a free sword for me? 
Found iron sword. Strength increased. As a blacksmith, it's my job to turn molten hot sludge into something cool. When you hold a sword, remember, this used to be hot sludge. Your name is Gertube. I hope your parents were proud of that one, because, like, I'd be upset. This exquisite ornate fountain is the pride of our town. It's it, it, it's four squares, and it's, an, it's just the ocean. I see. I love to live in a peaceful town. Sorry, you're nice and all, but you have the same overworld sprite as my mother, so it'd be very weird for me. I was gonna comment on that. I did see them both there, and I'm like, oh, maybe it's just... Okay. You are breaking my heart. <laughs> my son is too busy to catch up with me. Do you get to see your mother often? Today, I got into fights and become stronger. That's nice. <laughs> well, what a lovely town. Goodbye. Oh, the Hell's Knight. Nothing can be allowed to stand in our way. People like this need to learn their place. Beneath me. I want this town obliterated. Atom by atom. <laughs> oh, he shook violently and is on fire. That's how hell comes about. Do you see, Lexi? This is all your fault. Ever again shall this town bustle. I can't stop here. I must keep killing. I must kill thousands more. <laughs> Try and stop me and you'll die too. S hmm. So I don't get to go to the kid's corner. The town is completely destroyed. Well, that's a shame. Are you going back to town? Oh, the town was demolished. Bummer. <laughs> Scorpion. Scorpion draws near. I can take out Scorpion. Scorpion destroyed. It's been vanquished. So far, we've killed some slimes and watched a town go up in flames. We'll never get to go to the kids' corner. It's quite sad. Another Scorpion. There's a bean man. So this is Beach, huh? All right. Hello, Red Scorpion. Oh, it's a lobster. How could I be so foolish? Level six. It's been vanquished. Hello, is anyone home? Without me, the king would have surely fallen to enemies. Yet my house is not even one tenth as big as this castle. I haven't figured out why yet. If I'm honest, I'd love nothing more than to see you beheaded. What the fuck? I'm looking out for justification, so you best be careful. My job is for my life to be inherently less valuable than that of my boss. I have a lot of self-esteem issues. I don't blame you. My lord wishes not to be troubled by problems. If anything terrible happens, you must not inform him at all. Yeah, I've got some bad news. Dreadful news about this Hell's Night business. <laughs> I bellow magnificently, don't I? My spirits remain high, for I am a mighty and resplendent king. The jewels on my fingers glisten with grease from the legs of meat I eat. Oh, Lexi, you will sort out this mess, won't you? I find you to be a meek and bland person who'll do my bidding. I... Just because you're correct doesn't mean you should say it. Lovely mustache, by the way. Oh, the narration at the start was that guy. Because remember, he said, can't someone else do it? I'm someone else. Oh, fire sword. But there's a dragon in the way. Dragon draws near. Ah, oh, shit. Watch out! Dragon breathes an all-consuming fireball! Um, mm. Mm. <laughs> Ah! It's all over for you! You have died horribly! That's a shame. Hello, friend? <laughs> You're Lexi, right? The name's Kanda. My class is Cool Daggers. I may not like you very much, but I'm programmatic, and if I figure out what's best for us to work together, if we want to save the world, right? So I'm gonna join you on your adventure from here on out, whether I like it or not. Huh. Condor joins the party. Huzzah. I'm going to visit this town and see what happens. Uh, the town that looks like rice balls. Couple of them piss colored, but rice balls nonetheless. Welcome to Leopard Zone. What do you mean by a leopard zone? Hey, that guy's not a leopard. The leopard men have been very kind to take us in after our town was obliterated. Oh, these are the guys from the previous town. I see. 
When it comes to Leopard Man, I have the most laid back and humorous personality. Okay. <laughs> Lexi speaks like I speak. My favorite food is meat with a big bone going through it. Despite my stoic nature, I am a picky eater and whiny about it too. We have taken in these people after their home was destroyed. This is the way of the Leopard Man. I love to live in a peaceful leopard zone. <laughs> This place is gonna get fucked the moment I leave, right? Seems my romantic prospects with human women have gone to hell. I think I'll see where I can get with these leopards. Oh god. Uh, what? What? Oh no! <laughs> which one's your mother and which one's your love interest? You'll never know. Wait, where's where's the kid from Kids Corner? I don't recognize everyone. Is this the Kids Corner guy? I'm not sure. He's dead. He's dead. Oh no! <laughs> I'll never see Kids Corner ever. Oh, uh, let's check out the cave. Pretty creepy cave, huh? You must feel pretty lucky to have run into a cool guy like me. Otherwise, you'd probably be pissing yourself. Crapping too, probably. What was that last bit? It's it, it skipped past it. I hope whatever you just said wasn't important, because I'm not going back to look at it. Come. Piercer draws near. But well, that's a lot of health. Piercer attacks. Ow! Uh oh, looks like you're in trouble. I've got this. Thanks, Condor. I don't feel safe going through here. Oh, I'm not a monster or even a stalactite. I'm just a gray cone. I was skeptical. <gasps> no way. A spy! <laughs> now I can't believe everything's a scorpion. It's been back! Good job neutralizing that threat. We make a pretty great team, right? Together, I reckon we've got a pretty good shot of saving this world. You're gonna backstab me. I know it. <laughs> I am Bloodman! I was created to be the perfect life form! Instead, I became a death form! How sad! Wait for me! Pity me! Whatever you do, I'm still a murderer and a goob! <laughs> Come on, Lexi. Let's put this one out of its misery. I'm not miserable! Being Bloodman is awesome! Bloodman draws near. Oh yeah, we win this. We win these. We take those. Blood man is done, man. Throw salt at him. I have no salt to throw at him. I I can only attack. That's all I know. Level nine! Got him? <laughs> Aren't we great? Uh -huh. Don't gloat too soon. <gasps> it's low res, blood man. Blood man's still got some life in him. Take this. My final attack. Yeah! <laughs> blood man runs Condor through with their poorly drawn sword. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> That's all from Bloodman! Goodbye, Bloodman! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'll be okay. It's nothing I can't sleep off. <coughs> We've met in through so much since we met like three minutes ago. Let's go. Let's save the world. Hondor, no! No! I thought he was gonna backstab me! But now he's. He's, he's gone. We found the dragon shield. Gained immunity to dragon's fire. Poor guy. I hope he I hope he can sleep it off. What, who, who are you? Condor's the coolest. I want to be just like her when I'm big. Do you know where Condor is? I am... Um, I have some terrible news. Condor died today in the game. Oh! <laughs> She's still She's not dancing <laughs> Well done, you've ruined the day. I'm not the one who died in a cave. Hello again, dragon. I have the dragon shield. The fireball was reflected. You fucking idiot. <laughs> the fight is mine, fair dragon. Goodbye. Found the gold blade. That's Sid. That is Sid. Quack quack! I'm Harold's Knight, most beloved little soldier! Da -dun, da -dun. I've been given a plum roll! It's my 
my special job to hold this guy hostage. His airship would be useful to heroes, so he can't be allowed to leave. It's somewhat instructed to self-destruct if someone like you shows up. So now one of two exciting things could happen. Either way, we both die, or you defeat me and only I die. Quack, quack. Ah, this isn't good for me at all. <laughs> I expected this to be a, uh, a fun, li fun little RPG. I didn't expect to get down bad over a bob hubba hubba. Don't you like my red boots? Let's start the countdown! Three. No, no, faster. Two. One! Oh! The Don, the Don has been vanquished. <laughs> you are victorious. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me from that stupid thing. Tell you what, why don't you take my airship? I'm so sick of being subjected to warfare. So it's your problem now. Good luck saving the world and all that. <laughs> I'm going to work on a new airship. One that can travel into space that's fitted with a wave motion gun in case there's any evil aliens up there. That's respectable. Oh. Target sighted. Hell's troops move in. Uh, mm, mm. I, I, I see. This is... Oh. Valgus, a decision has been made and you are hereby sentenced to death. Your crime, disrespecting the sky. The sky belongs to our master and our master alone. You should know your place, the ground. Your execution is scheduled for now. Bah, should have known this airship crap would be nothing but trouble. Well, no time for regrets now. Lexi, it's all up to you. Take flight and give him hell. If you're here to execute me, I'm taking you all with me. <gasps> is that a bomb? We did not come here for a bomb, Balkus. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's gone. Ah, oh, that was brutal. Oh no. Everyone I know and love dies. Let's take a gander over here first. Ah. That seems like a tower for the Hell's Knights, which is not where I want to be right now. I was once the greatest knight in the world. Now I am here on Warrior's Island, teaching the next generation. I am doing my part to perpetuate an infinite cycle of warfare. I has to travel from the far hence kingdom of Gitchin, so yonder I may study as the fighting styles her. Bid me, what techniques does thee possess? My attack is that I swing my sword. That was truly a fascinating warrior. I hope nothing bad happens to pots and pans. I like that guy. I... Hello, Satan. Oh. <laughs> I want to speak to this guy. He's just sitting there. Good afternoon. Lexi, you've done well so far to fend off the terrible forces of Hell's Knight. For this, I and many others are thankful. You have proven yourself a true hero. However, there is more to this tale than meets the eye. Will you listen to this old woman's story? The three celestial bodies, the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun, existed in harmony for a long time. The Earth, the incubator of life, the mighty Sun, provider of warmth and light, and the Moon, who offers guidance and comfort in the dark night. The Moon, however, felt lowly in its position, as it did not create life like the others. One day, the moon challenged the sun and positioned itself between the sun and the earth, blocking all light. What is the meaning of this? cried the sun. Do you not know the reverence people on earth hold for you? The love that moths, bats, and owls carry within their hearts? I wish to be adored with a god, so that I may too see my surface bloom with light, said the moon. Very well, responded the sun. You'll get the god you want. This was the birth of Eclipsin, the great god of the moon. But no matter, eclipse in strength, the moon remained grey, barren land, from which no life could emerge. Eclipse in remains on the moon to this day, punching holes into the lunar surface in search of life-giving water. Thank you for listening to my story. I am old, and I am vanishing from this world, but I trust you to take care of this blue orb. Farewell, Lexi. Everyone I love is dead! Found the blue orb. Hello, dragon friend. I'm tired of dragging and guarding treasure and breathing flames and all that. I think I'll get into making soap. I love you, soup guy. Yay, this is so fun. That's a crab, not a lobster. This is so cool. That's a lobster, not a crab. 
Now I think this is very nice. That's a shrimp, not a lobster or a crab. I'm aggressive and that's okay. I have a pointy buddy designed for violence. I will never apologize for anything my entire life. Sand located. <laughs> So, so it is. We got stranded on this beach for so long, we ate ourselves and became <laughs> skeletons. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I wish we could have that meal we had a while ago again. Knickknack, paddywhack. Now where's the bone to give a dog? There's the dog. Oh, you're here already? I haven't really had enough time to get my battle ready. Well, actually I've had plenty of time. I'm just easily distracted. Well, I'll show you what I've done so far if that's okay. some work, I know. That was just a placeholder graphic. <laughs> yeah, is that what we're going with? <laughs> if I finish my battle later, I'll come show you. All right, see ya. We got the red orb. It's the number three. I swear to God, if the number three is just a green scorpion, I will fucking lose it. Three, man! <laughs> Three men's attack. Oh, he didn't do a thing. Oh, never mind. He hit me for three. Three men's health won't decrease past three. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, n oh dear. Three men took a look at your health bar as well. Seems like three men's gotten what it wanted from this battle. Three men walks away content. <laughs> I got the green orb. You monster. Okay, he's dead. You are victorious. You didn't level up because Mimic C refuses to share any experience. Hey, I won! Yeah, I deserve it! Because it has a bad personality and it smells bad. I'm glad you killed it. Okay, that's kind of mean, but we'll be friends forever, I promise. What? Atom Fighter! That's a, that's a really small health bar. Atom Fighter's attack. Oh, he does a lot. That's a shame. He didn't level up because the enemy was too small to contain any experience point. Oh, he seemed strong. Oh my, another little hero approaches my special tower. You want to know something funny? Without three magic orbs, you'll be up Paddle Creek without shit trying to fight me. Oh, you got the three orbs? Magnificent. Let's see what happens next. The power of three orbs combines together to smite your foe. Perish. Where you stand. Wow, wow! Uh, goodbye! Excellent! You are the winner of killing me! Boom! Killer Robo draws near. I can take out Killer Robo. Ooh! Ooh, this song's a banger! Too bad it's about to be over! Boom! Let's go to the left. Oh no. The cylinder goes into the cylinder shape. The triangle goes into the cylinder shape. And the square. Oh, the square. <laughs> okay, I did it. You heard a force field deactivate in the distance. Whatever that sounds like. They all go into the square shape, as most things do. Wait. Wait! 
Hey, buddy. Hey, it's me again. I've made a bit of progress since last time we met. Here's what I've done for my battle graphics so far. It's coming along pretty well. Oh, yeah. One of your heads looks menacing. Well, actually, two of them do. Your third one kind of looks like Clifford the Big Red Dog, but it's fine. Truth be told, I don't actually want to finish it. Like, it's fine and all, don't get me wrong, but I'm just not feeling it. I think I need to reevaluate what makes me happy when making art, you know? I hope you understand. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Don't want to relate to the Cerberus, that could fuck off. What's going on on the right side of town? Missile draws near! It's okay, he's dealt with once and for all. What the fuck is this place? You right there, buddy? Uh, it's really quite simple around here. Hell's Night brings in the corpses. I harvest them for organs and pick them in these tubes and use them to make all sorts of effed up things. Yes, life doesn't get better than this. <laughs> oh lord. I'll leave him to his own devices. Maybe we could give him the king. Going up. It's uh, quite a tall tower, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Floor 999. Our master is trying to create life. As machines, we were not good enough. The rejection really hurt the feelings I don't have. Let's finish this. Stars look especially beautiful tonight. Shining over this blood-stained land, the land is bleeding and crying and screaming because it saw its own blood and now it needs a bandage. I think you are the bandage this land needs, Lexi. The bandage that protects the wounds of this world from infection. The bandage that comes off in the swimming pool. The scabby bandage that floats around in the water grossing everyone out. That's you! That's all you are to me! Scum! Filth! Detritus! Something as lowly as you must be impressed by all this though, right? My master has some amazing plans. Your master? All I had to do in exchange for the great power I wield was to kill thousands of people. You'll be the 1,283rd person I kill. Not even a big milestone or anything. And the 1,284th will be my master. I'm sick of being someone else's pawn. Standing up here, I've thought about a lot of things, and I've come to realize being the ruler of this whole world would suit me. You can watch me take my throne from your grave. Time to die, Lexi. This is the end for you. Prepare to be slaughtered. Nah, nah, this time I'm gonna be, this time I'm great. Oh, look at you. You actually managed to damage me this time. Consider me impressed. When I look back on this, I'll remember fondly the time I got scratched a little bit by someone I crushed into a meaty paste. Hell's Knight attacks. Except that this is where you perish, Lexi. Fall into an endless nap time without dreams. I, huh. I don't win these, do I? Why are you still trying? Anyone can look at our respective health hate points. HP points hearts. <laughs> Anyone could look at our respective health HP points hearts bars and see you can't win. With this final attack, your little story will come to a miserable end. Any last words, Lexi? I'm good. Nothing much to say, huh? Well, I'll grant you a hero's death, being cleaved into chunks and fed to the ducks. <laughs> Farewell, Lexi. Huh? Did my attack miss or something? I want nothing more than to strike you down. Something like this should not happen! What? Again? What's happening to me? I can feel myself holding back. Why? You're sick, Lexi! What have you done to me? You're making me feel horrid! Stop this! I want you to be dead! I want you to stop being alive! That's nice. No. I'm... I'm crying? Why? I can't take this anymore! I'm terrified beyond belief! I won't let you get away with this! I'll kill you! 
I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! It's um, it's it's, it's not working, buddy. I'm, 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 I did it. Somebody's getting fucked. Somebody's getting fucked. What? I've failed. And hey, me too, I missed. I want you to put me to the sword. It's over. I know who you are, and I think you know who I am too. I... I do. Everything is coming back to me. When I became Hell's Knight, my memories were taken from me. I remember you, Lexi. I remember our childhood together. I'm... Chibi, I was your beloved childhood doll. I'm sorry about everything. Lexi's neighbors be like, what's going on? I be like, what's going on? What the fuck's a Chibi? It's okay. It's my fault too. I should have never whispered all those swear words to you while we play. <laughs> oh no, I taught Chibi the fuck word and now Chibi's a murderer. The one who did this to me's name is Eclipson. If we go up to the moon together, we could team up and defeat them. And after all this, maybe we can be friends and play together once more. I hope that I can learn to be alive even when I'm away from you. Thank you, Lexi. This circle thing will transport us to the moon. I'll go first. See you there! Okay, so a lot's going on right now. Let's go to the moon, I guess. Chibi, where are you? I'm sorry to tell you this, but Chibi is no more. What? What happened to Chibi? <laughs> well, it's very simple. I heard all about Chibi plotting to betray me from up here. I didn't much care for that, so I had the teleporter vaporize them. They're little more than atoms now. You, however, are quite interesting to me. I'd love ever so much to meet you. I'm sure you've been wondering what all this has been for. My dreams are this close to being realized. So come and find me at my moon castle, Lexi. I'm waiting there. Just for you. Everyone I love always gets gutted. I see. The moon has eyes. The moon smiles at us. God, it scares me. <laughs> oh, but this music's a banger. Moon warrior draws near. Help me? My level is maxed out. This is such a good song, oh my god. You get the feeling that once you cross the rainbow, you won't be able to return. I'll be fine. It's time. Oh. <laughs> Didn't notice. Is that them? Oh, you're finally here. I'm glad. Tell me, what do you think of the moon? Just dreadful, isn't it? I think it's nice, actually. Be quiet. You're a mere tourist. You don't know a single thing about what it's like to live here. Well, don't ask me! For millions of years I've been here, a lonely god with no children to call my own. Let me introduce myself. I am Eclipson, the god of this desolate rock. I know, a wizard told me about you earlier. Ah, so there are still people on Earth who know of me and tell my tale. How very interesting, though it means little. No matter how many would listen, my situation would remain the same. I'll still be stranded, trying to squeeze blood from a stone. That's why I've taken things into my own hands. That's why I've created Hell's Night to harvest lives on your world. Everything is changing, though. I have finally managed to sow the seed of life. I finally ascended to a true god. Aren't you happy for me? I'm glad you've got what you've wanted. But because of you, everyone on Earth is very sad or dead. Mm. You know, you've got a good heart, Lexi. 
Exactly the kind of heart I'd love to tear out of your body. The kind of heart I'd love to use for my next creation. Let me show you the power of a real god. Prepare yourself, Lexi, if you're a fucking scorpion. Okay, he's not. Come forth, my true form! Holy shit. Now, I shall confer upon you a rare gift. The honor of being slain by a god! That's a lot of health. Oh god. No matter what you think you're capable of, your strength is that of a mosquito compared to mine. Nothing you do here matters. Your fighting spirit is commendable. However, the sooner you accept your helplessness, the better. You can't do anything. You're no less of a puppet to me than Chibi was. This can only be fun for me for so long. Time to put you out of your misery. Oh shit. Take this, my heavenly spear. Has the Procellarum! Oh lord. The five hearts, how am I gonna recover from this? What? He split off into all directions. Ow. Ow. And uh, you asshole! <laughs> Do you see how futile this has been? I wanted to destroy your spirit before I destroy your body. Even as you are ripped apart and scattered across the stars, you'll have not felt even a tiny percentage of the pain I've felt. This is the end. Fluctus Tormentorum! Oh shit. Uh, is, th is, th is there any way I can stop this? All power to main cannon! Fire! Uh, what did that say? What did that say? He should have grinded it more. <gasps> Valgus! Huh, <laughs> that wave motion gun got Tito on the lesson. Valgus, you're alive! <laughs> I've been to hell and back. Of course, he's the Sith character. He'll never die. I won't bother you with the details. The most important thing is, I'm here. <laughs> what the fuck is this song? You were only able to catch me off guard because of how little I regard you humans. Destroying both of you will be no more difficult than before. That's where you're wrong. I picked up some friends while I was away. Bring it in, guys! <gasps> Condor! Condor! Hey, Lexi. Still need the help of a cool bitch like me after all this time? Heh. <laughs> well, there's no shame in that. We gotta work together to save the world. Condor! I'm glad you're alive and not dead in a cave! Great wizard trap. Sorry to do that to you, Duke Clipson. It brings me no joy to see your tale come to this. Lexi, I am glad to see you have become a true hero. Your friends are here to support you, and the whole world believes in you. Yours will surely be a story told for errors to come. Let me cast the rejuvenation spell. Good luck, Lexi! Are you lot quite done yet? Like hell we are! Who was that? <gasps> yeah, hi Alexi! Check it out! I'm Heaven's Knight now! I've been reborn! Jimmy! You look very cool and golden. How did you even go to redeem yourself? You killed like a million people before! I turned good! That's what I did! Anyway, Eclipse on is real strong, right? But with holy power, you can stand a chance! Take it, Lexi! Take the power and save the world! Sword imbued with the Holy's power gains the strength to kill a god. Show me what your so-called Holy's power of yours can do. I'll rebound your blade once more. Holy shit. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's uh, kind of scary, isn't it? I have nothing more to say to you. I don't think you have anything left in you. Nice hand. 
it won't be enough. We have one more turn. Your spirit means nothing. No, it's... It cannot be! Time to finish this. Today, we use our powers to fell a god and then seize our destinies! Fusion Sword Formation A! Come, my friends! I'm... <laughs> okay. We absorbed a whole ass shit. That guy! Yo, we got that guy! No! It can't end this way! Final Holy Blade! Mode change! Attack! Get back here! I, I can't reach you if you're over there! No matter. You can't run from me. We did it! We saved the day! Eclipson has been obliterated. You are victorious. We did it. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Who'd have thought that licks their knife like a pervert type of woman like me would end up messing up a guard? I don't need to know what you do with your knife, Condor. Please just keep that to yourself. Eclipson wanted above all else to see the moon bloom with life. Oh great, here comes the Eclipson apologist. This is what caused them to become twisted and resentful. Will you two flatter me, Troab? I... But don't you know I am a true god? Are your ears closed earlier when I announced I have successfully created life? I hadn't arrived here when you said that. Eclipse on. You're still alive? Oh, please, I'm a god. I will, however, concede that you slapped me silly, so I shan't fight you anymore. Besides, most of all, I'd like you to meet my creation. There are the end result of eons of a god's pain and tears. That's why they were here. <laughs> the preparations are complete, Isiphilon. Magnificent, excellent work, Doctor. Lexi, you have humbled me today. This whole time, I felt angry, lonely, depressed. But until now, never so vulnerable. Thank you. Let us consider this a passing of the torch moment. You, a human, will be stamped out by your successor. My child, reveal yourself and destroy them! Oh my god. Frankenstein! Frankenstein, my most beautiful, perfect creation! Destroy, Alexi! Grrrr! Frankenstein's attack. It ain't gonna do enough. I am stronger than Frankenstein. I can take him out. This this song sounds familiar. I don't know what oh. Huh. This isn't looking good. Hmm. Honestly, this Frankenstein is kinda cute. I'm gonna try a change of tactics. Give me a little kiss on the lips. Ah. I did it. Frankenstein, let's not fight anymore. I think, instead, we should get married. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that idea a lot more than fighting. I now love you, Lexi. I also love you, Frankenstein. Is this? Got engaged to Frankenstein. I mean, I'm already max level. I don't need to fight anyone anymore. Oh, whatever. Sure. Marry my Frankenstein. That's cool. Can I expect grandchildren? Please. One step at a time. I... Okay. That. Mm... I. You know, wasn't expecting it to take this turn. Welcome to the wedding zone, Hermes. Did you know that scorpions are very sentimental and love weddings? Three! Three! <laughs> We're not polyamorous. Sorry! <laughs> wow! 
Condor's back. For me, this has been a day of great lows and great highs. Yeah, I'm never going to get to speak to you. That's a shame. Just because it's your wedding day doesn't mean I would kill you if you look at something in a way I don't like. <laughs> I lost track of the story and I don't know what is happening. <laughs> me too, Balgus. My beautiful bride-to-be. The other two don't have backwards walking sprites. That's fine. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. You caught this. I bet you're really good at marrying me. If anyone objects to this marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. I was going to raise a fuss about this because a monster chopped my arm off and I'm pretty sure that Frankenstein's arm is my arm. But now that I'm here, I actually think this is pretty beautiful. So like, go ahead. Okay, well anyway. Frankenstein, do you accept Lexi to be your sweet best friend and to live together in marriage forever? Me too. Me. And do you, Lexi, take Frankenstein to be your lovely forever pal and to hold them and love them for all time? Yes. Then, by the power of God, that's me! I now pronounce you married. You may now kiss each other. We did it. Thank you, everyone. The day is over. The battle has been won. There's nothing more beautiful than true love. That was Franken. And a what, what a fucking game, okay? <laughs> Like, <laughs> made a joke about a whoopee cushion in a Discord call that I then used. <laughs> nice. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what else to add. It definitely took a turn. There were some scorpions every now and again. Warrior Killer Rowan, the Beacon Boys, da dun da dun Balgus, Dr. Heckle, Great Wizard Troop. Tell me his name, god damn it! He's gone! Where did he go? Oh, ah! Suplexi.